Hello my spider friends. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of pieces of my family history. Uh, a couple of really unique things that I don't think many other people will have. Um, and they both came from my grandfather and I just, they've always been a part of my life and it never occurred to me that this would be unusual until some friends commented on it. So I'm going to show them today with you, my spad friends. So this is the first thing. So I'm only going to show two things because they're both uh, quite heavy. This is the lighter of the two objects. This is a wagon plate. This came from my, um, my grandfather was um, a train driver in Shildon where trains were invented. Um, and this is from a wagon that he will have driven at some point. Um, he drove all sorts of different things. He drove wagons, he drove trains, he was like a ticket collector. He did, he did all sorts of things when he worked for British Rail. Um, so this is like a genuine, um, like from 1955 wagon plate from Shildon. Um, there's a few of these sort of kicking around within uh, my family because a lot of people um, worked on the rails and uh, my mum's family's originally from Shildon. Um, so for me, seeing like one of these in someone's back garden is not that weird, but uh, a, f a friend saw it who like happens to like trains and they were like, oh my god, where did you get that from? And I was like, uh, from the train? From the train that it came from. So this is, um, this used to be hung on the side of my Nana's house and uh, my mum wants it hung on the side of ours eventually. Uh, it's just a matter of getting around to it because one it's quite it's very heavy and um because it's like it's solid you're really gonna have to make sure it's secure when hanging it up but this was something that uh, my granddad obviously like passed down and uh, i just thought it was a really cool piece of uh, family history So the second thing I'm going to show you, also from my granddad, um, slightly more unusual. I'm going to guess a fewer people will have one of these in in their house or in their garden, as as uh, is our case. And it's a wee bit heavier than the wagon plate. It is this. It's so heavy. Oh, oh, oh. it's this decommissioned World War II bomb. Um, all of the guts have been taken out of the end of it. It's so heavy. Um, but this is, this is a genuine, actual decommissioned World War II bomb. Um, it's very old. <laughs> I don't know what kind of bomb it is, um, only that it's decommissioned and uh, my granddad um, like collected it um, after it had its like guts taken out and uh, it's got like a little bit of, of paint left on the top, sort of um, like a pink bit on the top and, and black around the nose but this basically just lives in our garden <laughs> and it, it always lived in my granddad's garden and um one day like a friend of mine said to me like oh what's that and i was like oh that that's a bomb and, <laughs> and then they freaked out slightly and i was like no 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 no, it's fine it, there's nothing inside there's nothing inside it anymore except perhaps spiders um but yeah this is a genuine um bomb that we keep in the garden. I know I said I was going to do two, but I also have this other thing that I thought I'd just show. Um, this is um, a Geordie lamp, an original um, gas lamp. Not original, original, it's not like 200 years old, um, but it is pretty old. This also belonged to uh, my grandfather fr from the other side of my family, from my dad's side of the family. And as I'm just sort of like looking at the back of it, I'm seeing some spider skins 
from spiders that have lived in the lamp. Um, this did, the last time my dad checked it, actually did still work. Uh, it's quite heavy, I don't think it's got any fuel in it. I really hope it doesn't have any fuel in it because I've been keeping it in the in the shed hung up. But um, yeah, there's another cool like old family heirloom. Geordie lamp, we've actually got a few of these but this one is the oldest one and it is the most accessible one because the other ones are all up on a shelf that's really high and I can't reach them. <laughs>